Hello, smart investors and beautiful people. My name is Gabriel Jarrison. I'm from beautiful Paris, France. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Rocket Dollar raising on Republic. Uh, I'm going to look at the company with my investment criteria and we're going to look together uh, whether or not it would be an interesting investment to make. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to hit the subscribe button right below the video. Uh, the channel has been growing rather quickly recently, which I'm super excited about and really uh, this is what helps me and motivates me to create new content and create new videos for you guys. So hit that button and let's go. All right, here I am on Republic's website on Rocket Dollar. I am here with my investment criteria. So a few things before we start. First of all, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial invest in, uh, advisor. Please do your own research and take your own decisions. Uh, first of all, second of all, if you want to know more about my investment criteria, you can download them in the description of the video. One of the very first links down there is a, a, a document that you can download for free. Uh, it's a few pages only where I explain what I mean by those terms so that you're able to understand the video better. And lastly, uh, but probably the most important just before we start, if you want to invest with me in deals that I source myself, in private deals that, that are not on Republic, that are not accessible anywhere else, um, you should back my syndicate. Uh, my syndicate is on AngelList and the link is also in the description. It's completely free for you to back the syndicate. This will just allow you to receive the deals that I do, that I offer. and you can decide then uh, uh, deal by deal if you want to invest or not in every deal that I offer. So the link is in the, in the description. Now, with, with that being said, <coughs> sorry, let's look at Rocket Dollar. Rocket Dollar is a self-directed retirement account for the active alternative asset investor. So there's a short video here. All right, let me, yeah, there's a short video here that you can watch if you want. Uh, they're raising for 24 more days. Um, they've already raised $354,000, which is 1,416% more than they wanted to raise, apparently, from a few thousand investors. Um, so basically, what Rocket Dollar allows you to do is take your retirement account, your 401k, or all of those uh, retirement accounts that you guys have in the US, and allow you to invest in whatever you like, uh, in diversified investment, cryptocurrency, uh, startups like Republic, like on Republic, and, and everything like that. And I, I kind of like that project. So let's see together uh, what we can uh, uh, know about those criteria. So first of all, um, we can easily see that the uh, platform has a lot of scalability because it's just a website, basically, that uh, it's very easy for them to scale. Uh, um, basically, the website exists, the platform exists. So for them to go from 10,000 to 10 million <coughs> sorry, customers, is fairly um, easy and it doesn't make their cost increase, just their revenue increase. So that's pretty uh, good. And the market, we can also right away say that it's a big market. There's a lot of people having retirement accounts and, and there's going to be a lot more and more people uh, looking to invest their money uh, um, their own way and not doing what the bank says. And this is something that is kind of gaining, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, it's gaining popularity with the youngest generation. So obviously right now, today, people that have retirement accounts are not the youngest generation, obviously, because they're retiring, but uh, the generation, the people who are 30, 40 right now, they're really into that and they're going to get their retirement. They already are saving for their retirement account and it's only going to get more and more important and present for them as time goes by. So I really like those kind of, of uh, websites and, and, and products that are, are kind of ahead of their time a little bit. And even if today they're uh, uh, able to succeed, we know that in the future, they're probably going to uh, get more and more and more uh, traction and more and more people using them. All right. So uh, let's see a few things here. Rocket Dollar allows people to create self-directed retirement account, gives access to 9.3 tri trillion retirement savings for alternative assets. So we know that the market is huge. Since being founded, the customer base has grown to 800 and we'll see about traction in a minute. Uh, but the traction, I, I think, is pretty good. 80 plus million in assets have been transferred, contributed to the platform. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to um, come to. So the traction is good. Uh, uh, obviously, 80 million dollar through the platform, that's that's got to be significant for something. And it means that 800 seems like a low number of, of customers. But actually, when you realize that there's $80 million going through the platform, you're like, okay, wow, those guys are not just beginning. There's a real traction there. They really know 
what they're doing, and at least it was appealing enough for 800 people to contribute uh, on average $100,000, which makes the 80 million, if I'm correct. So they raised 3.7 million to date, and the founding team has prior fintech exits, most notably to Goldman Sachs. So I'm going to now look for the team. Um, I'm going to scroll through all of that. I'm going to come back to it in a minute. But the team is pretty uh, amazing. We have Henry Yoshida, uh, who founded Honest Dollar. So this is Rocket Dollar. He founded before Honest Dollar, and he sold it to Goldman Sachs. And he was also the founder of MY Group LLC, and it was also... Uh, sold, I think um, I saw that on his LinkedIn profile. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, there's no link, so let's go on LinkedIn to get together. So I re obviously really like a company where you have a founding team that that's already had an exit in the sector of in the same sector. So right now, right now, right now it's fintech. Um, so Honest Dollar was acquired, but yeah, my group was also acquired by Cap Trust. So two fintech exits exits prior to that. And uh, I think either uh, Rick or Thomas, might be Rick, uh, was also one of the co-founders, also had an exit, or something like that. I, I, I checked very quickly the other day. Uh, to -do -do. I mean, he was a co-founder. Oh yeah, and he sold to Rocket Dollar. Okay, so he was also, he also was an, uh, 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 an exiting, acquired uh, an, uh, entrepreneur, even though he sold to Rocket Dollar, but still, I mean, co-founder and an and exit. So the team is st stellar in my opinion and that's really a good thing to have here. Um, and this obviously gives them an unfair advantage uh, because they they have all of their contacts and knowledge and all of those people that they know at Merrill Lynch and at uh, uh, all of those companies that they exited, Goldman Sachs. Um, yeah, Goldman Sachs acquired this one. Um, uh, Merrill Lynch, he used to be vice president of Merrill Lynch, can you believe it, for 10 years. So I mean, this is a huge unfair advantage that he knows all of those people. He has all of those connections. He knows the market probably better than anyone else. And that is a huge, huge, huge unfair advantage. And by the way, uh, the unfair advantage tries to answer the question, if you and I tomorrow try to do the same thing, would it be easier or harder for us to do? And the answer is, it is obviously easier for Henry to be, to be building this because of all his knowledge, all his experience, all, all his network and everything. All right? Uh, let's look at monetization. How do they make money? Uh, that's, that's a great question, uh, obviously. And the answer, so traction, we've answered it, but you can see here the growth of the asset under management on the platform. It's pretty huge. And the paying customers, which brings us to uh, the monetization business model. So they charge an upfront fee of $360 to establish the new account. And then there's a $15 per month um, uh, uh, subscription and there's now a rocket dollar goal with a $30 per month subscription. So those fees, first of all, they know how to monetize. There's a monthly fee. So monetization is good. Uh, but then my initial reaction when I saw that was like, well, this is actually rather small and you can make a quick multiplication. 800 customers times $15 means they only make 12K, $12,000 of MRR, of monthly recurring revenue, which means that the first year they're probably going to do only $150,000 of, of revenue for a company that is worth 20 million, which I'm going to come back to in a minute for valuation, but it seems quite small. $15 seems really small, but you have to know that those fintechs, first of all, the valuation of a fintech is usually much higher, uh, which would make sense here. And second of all, when you have $80 million of asset under management in the platform, there's so many other ways that you can make money. You can uh, be an affiliate with websites that you're going to send the money to. So uh, uh, Rocket Dollar uh, allows people on their website to invest on cryptocurrency exchanges where you can be an affiliate. It allows to invest on Republic where you can be an affiliate. There's so many ways that you can make money and then you can always make money with the money that you are keeping on the account. When there's money on the Rocket Dollar platform, you can make money any different uh, many, many ways with on the float, on, on, on chain interchange fees. There's so many ways. So the fact that they're uh, on top of that, it could actually probably be a free service and they would probably be able to make money. But on top of that, they're able to uh, uh, charge a, a subscription fee, even though it's small. So monetization is a go and margins is good too, because the margin on that, uh, like a lot of SaaS products is basically 100%. The $15 a month, uh, it's just kind of there. 
uh, but they don't have any fixed cost on that. Basically, they just have the platform, they have to pay for the server and the hosting and whatever. But apart from that, it's 100% margin, which is obviously something that I love. Um, and same goes with the, whatever the affiliate fees, that the, the commission that they're able to charge or stuff like that. And now finally with the valuation to finish. So the valuation is a $20 million cap with a 10% discount. It's a crowd safe. Uh, so that kind of puts a valuation of $18 million. If you discount the 10%, 10% of 20 is 2 million. 20 minus two is $18 million valuation. Um, or to be to be more precise, 20 million with a 10% discount. So um, the valuation for me is okay. Uh, obviously, it's a little. I mean, it's a little high, you could say. But I mean, uh, there's if you compare it to the 80 million dollar in asset uh, through the platform, you know, the growth, the technology, the the founding team, which is really amazing. Uh, I really do think that the valuation is 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 uh, pretty straightforward and and really is okay. Um, and that makes an all green uh, uh, review for Rocket Dollar, which is uh, quite rare actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, a few things before we finish. First of all, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with everything I've said or do you disagree uh, on some uh, points, on some of those points? And if that's the case, please let me know. I'm happy to, to know more and, and why you disagree. Uh, if you agree with all of them, you can also tell me in the comments and I, I will feel good about myself. And uh, uh, lastly, as I mentioned in the intro, if you want to invest with me uh, on great deals that I uh, source myself in the US, in Silicon Valley, and in a lot of other places, deals that are exclusive that you don't find anywhere else. You should back my syndicate on Angelis. It's completely free for you to back and uh, no commitment at all. It would just allow you to see the deals and decide whether or not you want to invest. So the link is in the description. Thank you very much for uh, watching this until the end. If you are not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, like it and share it. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye everyone.